Okay, so it's time for that essay for the research simulation task. And we remember from class that essentially all research simulation tasks are asking us to do two things to show comprehension. They want us to summarize and they want us to explain. So here we have our prompt, which we looked at last week in class when we were just practicing writing a thesis, a big claim from a prompt before we had even read the articles. It says, you have read three articles about penguin rescue efforts after an oil spill. So that was the topic. Then it's uh, The Amazing Penguin Rescue by Lauren Tarshis, The Amazing Penguin Rescue by Diane DiNapoli, and the update on penguin rescue efforts from oil spill in South Atlantic, which doesn't list an author. And it says, write an essay explaining the similarities and differences in each article's point of view about penguin rescue efforts after an oil spill. Support your essay with information from all three sources. So at the top, I have my whole introduction because we focused on doing the introduction last week because not only are you going to have a thesis, but your introduction, and, and when I'm typing, if I'm in a timed writing, I don't need to write the full introduction on my scratch paper, but because we practiced it last week, I went ahead and did that. And remember, we said in the introduction, you do, you do two things, title, author, and gist, title, author if they're available, and gist, meaning just a quick summary, and then you have your thesis, what your essay is going to be about. And so we said, and I, I believe this is ex almost exactly what we wrote last week, the articles, The Amazing Penguin Rescue by Lauren Tarshis, comma, The Amazing Penguin Rescue by Diane DiNapoli, comma, and update on penguin rescue effects, uh, sorry, efforts from oil spill in South Atlantic, all tell about a rescue effort to save penguins after an oil spill, period. I have my titles, my authors if they're available, and the gist because they're all the same gist. They're all the same summary. It's about that one uh, rescue effort to help penguins after that one oil spill. And then my thesis. Each of the three articles is about the same oil spill, comma. However, they each have a different point of view in the way the articles tell the story. Now, I could have said um, each article has uh, similarities and differences, in the way, in the point of view that, uh, in the point of view, or in the way that they tell the story, I could have said that, and that's good enough. The reason I have this, if you notice, each of these three articles is about the same oil spill. However, that however is that contrast right there. Each of these three articles is about the same oil spill. That's the similarities. The difference would be the point of view in the, in the way that the articles tell the story. Those are my subclaims. Those are my subclaims. My first subclaim is that they're all similar because they're all about that one particular oil spill. However, my other subclaims are going to be about the, or my other subclaim, depending on whether or not I have multiple paragraphs or just one body or one big body paragraph about where, where I contrast, where I look at the differences. I'm going to, I know now exactly what to write about. So if I get bogged down, because I'm going to go back through all three articles, if I get bogged down or I get kind of distracted or I get tired, I know based off my thesis, what is it I'm looking for? I'm looking at the similarities and the differences in the points of view. And then I went ahead and I we did this last week where we kind of looked at what we would show. So I put um, number one, Tarshish, number two, Dinapoli, number three, update. Or you could just put article one, two, three, or four. And I have my little plus sign, and that's the similarities that they all have. And I already know this. this they, they're all, they all tell about the same oil spill. And then the minus sign shows the differences. And I know these differences not only from reading the articles, but from answering questions about them. So I know that article one, Tarshish, tells the story from the point of view of a penguin. I know in Article 2, DiNapoli, it's a first-hand account because I had to answer that question by a rescue worker. I know from number 3, the update, that it has the steps, the four steps that needed to be, uh, to be taken to help in this crisis. And each of these things, I know because I read the article and I had to answer questions about them. So now, based off of this, this is a nice little outline. I have my thesis. I even have my introduction, which I don't have to have on a timed writing on my scratch paper. My introduction, I can just type this in the computer. But because we did this last week, I wanted to do it. And then I have my thesis. My thesis is that complete statement which tells me what I'm writing about. I'm going to write about the similarities and the differences. I know the similarities 
uh, the similarities would be the fact that they all tell about the same penguin rescue. I know that the differences would be the fact that one is from the point of view of a penguin, the other is a first-hand account by a rescue worker, and then finally, these are the steps that are needed to take according to this article. And then I'm, I'm ready to start writing my essay and adding text-based evidence as a support. But remember, what is it I have to do? I have to summarize and explain. They want our thinking, not our feelings, but our thinking. They want to see that we understand what we read, and we're going to explain it back to the readers of our essay.